On September 2022, Suzuki announced that it will partially change the specifications of the large adventure tour V-Strom 1050, and at the same time add a new variation model V-Strom 1050D. The V-Strom 1050D will be available in dealers sometime early in 2023 and will have all the same features as the standard V-Strom 1050 as well as a host of off-road focused upgrades. So keep watching. The improvements of the new V-Strom 1050 announced this time include the adoption of a two-way quick shift system that can shift up and down without operating the clutch or throttle, and the electronic control system SIRS, or Suzuki Intelligent Ride System. Not only that, the cruise control system has expanded the range of speeds and gear positions that can be set, making it possible to respond to a wider variety of driving conditions than ever before. In addition, a large 5 inches color TFT liquid crystal meter that can display various information used for SIRS function settings has also been newly adopted, greatly improving the usability and convenience required for long-distance touring. Meanwhile, the newly added V-Strom 1050DE is a model for long-distance touring, assuming driving on unpaved roads such as dirt. The traction control system is set to G-Mode for unpaved roads. At the same time, it is equipped with functions aimed at ease of handling on unpaved roads, such as preparing an ABS release mode for the rear brake. The wheels are wire-spoke wheels for off-road use like the conventional V-Strom 1050 XT but the diameter has been increased from 19 inches to 21 inches, and the tires are also fitted with semi-block patterns to make them more suitable for off-road use. In addition, the handlebars are wider than the standard model by 20 millimeters to the left and right. To improve shock absorption performance, an aluminum engine protector that protects the accessory bar, and the lower part of the engine is also standard equipment. The new V-Strom 1050 and V-Strom 1050 DE are scheduled to go on sale worldwide in January 2023, starting with Europe and North America. That's it.